I enjoyed he had recently done a podcast and said some interesting things about Islam. Let's watch the video and come back. We are in a culture war. And it's culture which is absolutely not only really defining the direction in which we move. And this is one of the reasons why I reverted to Islam, because I feel like the Islamic culture is the strongest. You feel the culture. I will say that I'm sad that you're not a Christian anymore. Because I, and I, I can sense, perhaps it's because you felt that Christians weren't doing a good job defending their beliefs. Yeah, I think that God should be feared. I believe that God should be feared. I fear God. Mm -hmm. It's one of the only things I fear. When someone shares their experience of converting to Islam after visiting Dubai and feeling the presence of God, it indicates that they have found a spiritual encounter during their time there. Now, the UAE's culture is very reliant on Islam and we can see mosques in every corner. Despite being a predominantly Muslim country, the UAE embraces religious intolerance and respect other faiths. Non-Muslims are free to practice their religion in designated places of worship, and there are various churches, temples, and other religious institutes across the city. The idea of fearing God is not necessarily meaning terrifying, but rather a deep reverence and respect for the divine. It helps guiding individuals towards the righteousness and ethical behavior. It's an act of deterrent against wrongdoing. So I feel like I find an affinity to a belief system which has very similar outlooks. And there's a whole bunch of other things I can say from the Quran and Islamic texts, etc. But to keep it very vague and very broad for people who are not Islamic, I felt God when I was in an Islamic country. If I went to an Islamic country, the problem. I the felt West, God. West you don't feel any God. How is it a Christian country if Satanists are mocking Jesus on the streets? Okay. I, uh, I, I, I understand what you're saying. And I, I was trying to gather in my head what made him, what pulled him away from Christianity. And I said, it's probably the example. If you're thinking that America is a Christian country and you're thinking that the United Kingdom is a Christian country, country they're not, they're and you're not. going, Christianity is getting it wrong. Yeah. And the truth is that America is no longer a Christian country. We're being run by people that are satanic. Hollywood is satanic and right. Hollywood is running America. Right. So you're not wrong. But I think that right now America is facing a spiritual battle. And for yeah. the first time in a very long time, Christians are starting to stand up and speak about our principles. I hope so. And, and I could have used you <laughs> as a I, I, I know. Christian. But I, I have seen in California, I've seen Christians and Muslims get side by side when they were complaining about the LGBT yeah, I did see that schools, which recently. is fantastic. And I know what you're saying, and that is true. But it's almost like when I go to an Islamic country, I feel God around. I You see it. You see it in the way the, the people are dressed. You see it in the fact that everyone's in a family. You see it in the fact that there's a mosque on every corner. The West has witnessed significant social and cultural changes over the decades, including changes in family structure, creating new genders every day, LGTV rights, woke churches, and switching genders, all of which have impacted the reverence of traditional Christian teachings. Churches, especially in American and Western countries, are closing down because of the COVID-19 pandemic, people not following their faith. Especially in the Catholic Church, there are incidents of sexual abuse that may have contributed to people leaving their faith. We were in high school, people would be saying, like, your little boy could be a little girl, but we're here today and actual adults are believing this information because it's been said enough times to whatever segment of the population that they're accepting it as true. So they do it because it's been effective. And that's why God is so important, because God is a hard line that you cannot be crossed, Which right? That's why you will not be libertarian. That's why I'll not be libertarian. You will not be libertarian. That's right. No, but if you have, if you, if, yeah, it's true, because if you have faith, then there's rights and wrongs. Like you said earlier, there's sin and there's good, and there's a line that can't be crossed, and the psyop is very difficult to penetrate. And that's mm -hmm. why in the Islamic world, for example, we have very little of these problems, because it's haram. Problem solved. <laughs> haram. Next. You will not see in a Muslim country disrespecting other people's religion, nor drag queens dancing in front of children and entering churches, nor will you see a public detainee. I'm in Dubai and I'm talking to my friends, my Islamic friends, and I explain to them the things you have to protect your child from in an American school. They, they literally think I'm lying. They're like, no, surely. Like, it's mind-bending to them. What about African countries that are Christian? Okay, so yeah, this is interesting. So yeah, they still are mind-blown by the concept of what we're fighting in America. So America is unique. We shouldn't say that this is the You're right. blanket. You're right. They're right. There are Christian countries which still stay Christian. She tries to convince Andrew Tate to come back to Christianity by claiming that the U.S. and U.K. is run by Satanists and that the true Christian countries are the African ones. She clearly doesn't understand what he said. Andrew Tate clearly says that he's disappointed that the Christians are silent about the insanity that's happening in the West and not defending their values. She also doesn't realize that when one has proofs of something, it's difficult to try to manipulate or convince him the opposite. 
I'd like to tell Andrew Tate you have done an excellent job for answering these questions sincerely. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Salam alaikum.